Hi, I'm Adam with Contemporary Woods. Today we're gonna to go over how we prepare for a job site delivery, install, leaving the shop, and setting up for success on the job site. It's basically what we're wanting to go over. We have procedures in our system that are a template of eight steps. Sometimes there's less steps, sometimes there's more. This particular procedure is briefing for delivery and install. So key is to find this in our system first and that will set you up for the rough steps that you need to take. Those are prompts to help us remember what we need to do. Those first steps include finding delivery and install paperwork and punch lists and get all the paperwork set up. The next steps include uh, briefing the drawing. And if we pan over to Brian here, he has an example of what the drawing is. And what Brian would be doing is showing the people going out to a field Hey, what it's going to look like, here's some areas to be concerned about, and going over what we need to review. So after that's done, then we would print off our checklist. We have three versions of this. This is the most complex version for doing full installs. It has all the tools that we would bring with us to ins install typically. And so what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do all this on camera, is I'm going to go through this and I'm going to go, okay, I know we need the DeWalt drill box. And so I'm going to circle that on the sheet. Uh, yeah, I think we need the screw box. And I'm going to go through the whole list. I'm going to circle the items we want. When I am loaded, after I've loaded that toolbox into the delivery vehicle, I'm going to take and say, yep, check. That's been loaded and that we're ready to go. That way we have a double check system. First, we, we do a prompt reviewing what we need to do. Oh yeah, we need that special pry bar because we need to adjust this big heavy door or whatever. Uh, and then, so we circle that and then we check it off as we load it. That's our checklist. And we want to make sure we have all of the hardware or any kind of specialty items that we're bringing with us to do the repairs or do the checklist. We're going to make sure we have clear instructions. And part of this, after we do the checklist, after we load the van, we want to check for commonly forgotten items. Basically, we want to make sure we're set up for success before we leave the shop. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be pinnacle communicators. And so we're gonna make sure we call the client when we're ready to leave and say, hey, uh, this we're, we're on time, we're ready to go, or hey, we're two minutes behind, we'll be there a few minutes after our delivery. But the most important thing is we're calling them and letting them know, we're communicating with them what the expectations are. Yet again, we wanna set expectations for our internal customers, our team, and our external customers, our clients, as we go every step. So everybody knows what to expect and how to be successful. Thanks for watching this how to get ready for a delivery or install.